This is kind of a continuation of my last video. I referred to the current situation in my home state of Queensland as a pretend pandemic, not because I don't believe in coronavirus, but because Queensland is doing really, really well and essentially doesn't have coronavirus in the community. There are only eight active cases and they're all accounted for. But yet, some of us are acting like a huge pandemic is just around the corner. We've put all these little oppressive, arbitrary rules in place to somehow protect us from impending doom, or at least show that we're trying to protect the community. But it's all rubbish in my opinion. Case in point, the swimming pool. On the weekend, it was hot. My children wanted to go swimming, so I took them to the local public pool. Of course, we had to fill in one of those contact tracing forms. I just wrote down Joe Biden and moved on. But then the girl at the front desk pulled me up. I thought I'd been caught out. But she was just letting me know that I had to include my children's names as well. So I wrote down Donald and Ivanka. Sure enough, she let me through. To be fair to her, she probably didn't even read the names as she was inundated with scores of other people also trying to gain entry as well. When we got in, the pool was packed. Not quite as packed as the pool in this photo, but it was packed nonetheless. After waiting in line for so long, I was quite thirsty, so I went to use the bubbler. Of course, it was turned off to protect me from the coronavirus. I find it funny how this is a COVID risk, but yet this is COVID safe. Can anybody please tell me how this makes any sense whatsoever? It doesn't. It is madness. If you're a conspiracy theorist, you might believe that this whole turning off water fountains is just a ploy to sell overpriced bottled water at the on-site cafe. Wouldn't that be funny if that turned out to be true? The Premier of Queensland, Anastasia Palaszczuk, seems to agree with me that this pandemic isn't as serious as people are making it out to be. Case in point. Suncorp Stadium. Queensland will wind back more coronavirus-related restrictions from 4pm today, just in time for the State of Origin decider. Rivals aren't born, they're made. Ms Palaszczuk had these rousing words to say, Let's fill that cauldron. Let's fill Suncorp Stadium and cheer our mighty maroons on. Don't worry, even though there'll be a full house of about 52,000 spectators, the bubblers will be turned off to protect you from the coronavirus. Some people want us to call this COVID normal. I call it COVID f***ing crazy.